Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Call all your how about Shemi or Shah, about Shemi or Hodash. And of course, once again, double honors go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. All right, who are well. Salutations also go out to the fellow occupant out there on the highways and byways, pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth, trying to wake up the remaining hopefully. Like, this is now I'm out at the DC camp. And, and boy, oh boy, this is going to probably piss a lot of people off as it should. All right. Uh, once again, here's another tactic of the devil, the so-called white man, this Edomite, all right, that's his biblical nationality, descendants of Jacob's brother Esau, all right, so here's the thing, you know, divide and conquer, right, so as you probably read by now, here it goes, it's from the Phil Scott show, and it says, migrant in Chicago has the audacity to tell a black American, no money for you, you're lazy. Yeah, he went there. Mm. But what is this? Again, prophetic, right? Zechariah 11 and 14, amongst others. But let's get that real quick. All right, because at the end of the day, this is the most high is doing. And this devil knows this. So he's going to play into it and use it to his advantage. This is 11, Zechariah 11 and 14. It says, Then I cut, this is the Most High, Then I cut asunder mine other staff, even bands, that I may break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel, that is, southern and northern kingdom, respectively. All right? And that's what has happened. We're out there again on the highways and byways, all right, trying to correct this, all right, trying to tell all our people what's going on, all right, and then shit like this happens. You also have to know, again, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11 about those devices that this devil uses. It says, uh, well, let's get that real quick. We're not supposed to be uh, ignorant of those devices, all right. Uh, 2 and 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Let's go into that devices. Move my ugly mug out the way. Hold on. So that's Strong's G3540. All right. Noima. A perception that is purpose. All right. The intellect, disposition itself, device, mind, thought. This is a reflection on, actually, when it gets deeper into it, his spirit. You know, they are the wicked. You know, that's his mindset. These are the instruments by which, you know, part of that craft of his. So let's go ahead and let me stop blabbering now. Let's go ahead and roll the tape. You lazy. Look at that. Motherfuckers laughing and shit.
and for you people to keep, I was going to say something, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go there, but for you people that are still on that democratic plantation, if you haven't figured out by now that all this is done and targeted at a specific group, a certain demographic, which has namely your people, all right, and I'm talking about Jake, not black, I'm talking about Israelites, not black people, all right, you got to get out of that bullshit too, all right, because there's nobody black, first of all, that's an insult, all right, um, like there's nobody white, but, uh, yeah, this has been done on purpose, you have to realize that for generations, our people have just thrown away their vote, you know, that's something that these people, you know, and who knows what conversations they had behind closed doors. But you have to understand our people could have played this much better. But, again, one of the curses, right? If you were to be strategic, you should have stayed independent. And anybody that wanted your vote, you make them work for it. Through what? I don't know. Maybe the things that your people need. But you got into this Republican, Democrat. We got into that dynamic and you just couldn't let it go. Well, I'm going to vote Democrat. Why? Because they, <laughs> I mean, <sighs> it, it's way too late to even go there for real. I mean, these people are showing you exactly what they really, really think about us. And I don't know why it should come to a shock or a surprise to some people. All right. Revelation 13 and 11, you know. <laughs> wow. Mm, that spoke as a dragon. Yeah, they're playing you. Neither one of them like us. They just have different ways. They're two wings that belong to the same filthy bird, which is America. All right. That's all that ever was. And the people that need the most, that have had the most taken away, no, nah, they make it a point to bring other people here, all right, and flaunt it in front of our faces. We're going to do this for them. The vice president herself said, I'm not going to do anything exclusively for black people. And yet everybody else, I mean, if you can't by now, pick up on the hatred alright that's directed toward our people hey continuing on it's like it's like it But see, that's the thing. He was talking about his people. <laughs> All the power to his people. Don't forget what happened in Los Angeles. Uh, was it last year, year before last, where the city council members got caught on a hot mic talking shit about Jake? All right. A little child that was adopted by an Edomite that happened to be, you know, that's another thing how they get our children. Now they let the the Rainbow Coalition, the, the LGBT, adopt our children. What do you think is going to happen to their minds? See, we're attacked from all directions. Hmm.
total disrespect. Exactly. But see, see, it's not limited. Understand the game that's being played here. What about Ukraine? What about the fake Israelites, the Israelis? All these resources that are being taken out of here and being... Wow. And actually, the second and third ones are the same people, just so you know. Ukraine and those people over there in the Holy Land. Those are the same people. <clears throat> so they amazingly and miraculously find all this money to help people that, again, have not paid a single penny in taxes to the United States government. But they want to tell us we're lazy. Oh, and those people that came over here from the Ukraine and, you know, they get Social Security, which a lot of our people work for. And in some cases, they can't get uh, <laughs> pay into the system. Again, the hatred that's directed toward us in so many ways. They're telling you, fuck you. That's what they're telling our people, fuck you. All right, so you can wish and all oh, things are getting, no, no, we're at a point now where things are going to get much, much worse. We tried telling you people, and we were even attacked by some thought, we're talking about we're pseudo-intellectuals and all this shit, and, you know, we don't know what we're talking about. I guess you never read Acts <laughs> chapter 4 and, and chapter 5, all right? We're supposed to trust people that hate our guts and have shown hatred. We're supposed to believe what they say. All right, uh, go to their schools, you know, a little, you know, that's about all I'm going to say on that. Uh, our people are, are gone. <laughs> all right. But that's the reason why Zechariah 13 and 8 is there. You have to always remember that and try not to get too angry because they're fulfilling that a lot. But back to this story here. Uh, again, all this money that they always tell us, well, you know, we can't give you this, that. You got to understand they want us in this lowest state that we're in. Psalms 83, simple. All right. And it's, it's been manifested, but, you know, this again, that's why we're out here. We're trying to wake our people up. Those that are going to get it are going to get it. All right. Because, again, we're dealing with prophecy. All right. Uh, everybody, every Israelite is not going to be saved. It's going around. And even then, when it happened in ancient Egypt, what? They basically walked in a circle for 40 years to weed those Egyptians, substitute that with Americans, those Jake that are in that mindset. They will never get over being an American like they never got over being an Egyptian. They had to die out. So that's what we're faced with again. That's why Zechariah, again, Zechariah 13 and 8 is so important. Two-thirds of our people, that's a lot of people, all right, are not going to make it. We're 
And this, again, this is the devil playing uh, our people against each other. You have to be very careful with this. All right. So back to the other video. Exactly. Imagine that. Cold disrespect. That's what they all say. So you have to also realize uh, within the last whole year, um, that I found out, um, I listened to this one more by lady and she's, cause everybody, you know, spills the beans when <laughs> these Edomites do something to them, you know, they keep quiet for all these years, um, uh, uh, Kushites, Moabites, they come forth and say, you know, when they were immigrants and they, you know, took all the tests and everything, you know, as far as, uh, civics and all that. You know, at least some of these people are screened, and they would tell you that, hey, we were told not to mess around with the blacks. Uh, they're lazy, they're violent. That's what they were told by, I guess, who? Yes. So <laughs> they're more than willing now to tell, hey, this is what we were told. And they tell you also for these people that set up shop like uh, these uh, restaurants, you know, especially when it comes to Moab, uh, uh, you know, they will let them sell that crap, and it is crap to our people, but they can't take that shit out, uh, that same shit out there in the suburbs and sell, and I'll sell it, I mean, no, so what is that, what should that tell you, alright, for those that want to argue, oh, y'all just making shit up, these people don't hate, what do you call that? One of the elders of the camp tell the story about uh, one of the Jakes uh, used to be in the camp that's no longer with us uh, that told them about he used to work uh, for this Moabite, I believe he was, that, uh, you know, had a place to uh, carry out. And he had asked me, he said, well, uh, Something to the effect, I um, can't remember it verbatim, but why doesn't, you know, he have, like, stores out in the burbs and shit? He told him straight up, he said, no, I, I can't sell what, what I sell here, out there. And he was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, <laughs> again, the hatred towards our people. This is by design. All the, uh, someone just put in the chat today about uh, certain cereals. That lower your testosterone. Who do you think that's aimed at? Well, we tell you this man is the devil. That's exactly what we mean. All right? Mm -hmm. We have proof of it. We tell you these things. Oops. All right? Now, if you choose to uh, wave fan your hand and say these people are pseudo-intellectuals, well, fine, fine, no problem. Ezekiel third chapter. We've done our job. We've gotten the blood off of our hands. All right. So that falls on you. We've done what we were supposed to do. Back to the video. Yep. Look at this de degenerate homo here. All right. <laughs> look like somebody. Look, you know what? Let me get some of the comments here. Uh, you you got to hear this. Uh, 
let's get a few of them. It says no one. This is not so much two seven three. No one wants to see fellow Americans be treated like this. This is not fair, and it must stop. All right. We're all American citizens need to be united against these migrants disrespecting fellow, fellow Americans. All right, whoever this is, Dr. Sergio Hernandez. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's like an Edomite saying, uh, we're all in this together. When have we all been in this together? All right. Uh, no disrespect to Sergio there, but uh, it says, Quandi uh, Love. And to see them here shopping freely in Walmarts and other stores from gift cards given to them from the government, knowing it's off our taxpaying dollars, is starting to piss me off. Starting to. And mainstream media, all right, refuses to report on stories like this. Of course. Of course. Of course they do. Thank you for continuing to shed light on what's really happening in our country. When people in Chicago start riding over this mess, I don't want to hear nobody saying that this shouldn't be happening because it's not just black people that are upset. Hold on. It's not just black people that are upset in Chicago. A lot of, uh-oh, white people that live in Chicago are dealing with this chaos also and hate it. But you don't hear that because the focus is on Jake being pissed off. Hmm, I wonder why. Yeah, but it's mostly black neighborhoods, like I said, that are housing these migrants. Tax dollars that should be going to help the black community is instead being spent on them. All right, and this is a response to Nick and Nick and Nick, Nick. But the suburbs will be next, though, if you know what I mean. It says uh, they're already getting shipped to the birds, unfortunately. What? Unfortunately, well, I thought we were all in this together. <laughs> Nick and Nick uh, response: Black blacks voted for this. <laughs> Remember, Trump hurt y'all. F- what? Oh, I guess it meant to say hurt your feelings with mean tweets. Uh, coming back, they said, "Oh, that was D's nuts." <laughs> uh, Ten ninety eight, and then uh, uh, Matthew Bullock responds uh you get what you vote for see they set jacob sweet will be uh uh they knew what they were doing for the job this was all planned that's what it lets me know you know we'll be a sanctuary ship because we care if we care for it we care. wow uh this is what they keep voting for us hispanics aren't thrilled either okay uh, let's see, someone responds, uh, let's see, Atomic, Atomic Chaos, um, they're already in the suburbs, my friend, they dump them off in Lombard, in Glen Ellen, in Rockford, and everywhere else, anywhere, they can dump them off, they're dumping them, uh, we're already in the suburbs, they're already here, all right. He said, all the folks who have come here kept their noses and veins clean and became citizens the legal way. Oh, I appreciate you, every one of you, regardless of country of origin. Ah, oh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Ta, mm, the last one says the problem. And like I said, from the onset, we know who's doing this. It says the problem with this immigration problem is connected to the people who are posted on the USA currency. Hot damn. There we go. Coming on down here, it says no, trust no political party, especially them damn Dems. Someone says, Phil, you left out. Where did the illegal get the custom-made shirt? Power to the people. He did not go on Amazon or custom order it. He was given the shirt by the Democrats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many people will look over that? Now, wait a minute, what is he wearing? A power to the people. That sounds like also, uh, what was that song by the Shylites? Uh, get more power to the people? <laughs> Uh, let's see. 
Uh, let's see. Just remember this. When you let someone in your home, it is extremely hard to get them out if they don't want to go. Oh, I'm not going to even read the next one. Uh, illegals, not migrants. Let's get that defined correctly. Uh, yeah, that's enough of that. I think you get, you know, this is some bullshit, but if left up to our people, They'd still be, you know, they still don't get it. sitting back and laughing. And that was the whole thing. Uh, my purpose of telling you about what the migrants are saying because they're being set up and the Moabite stress this. They're being set up as the buffer between our people and the white supremacists. They know this. They know this. They're set up to be a buffer between the white supremacists and us. So you'll blame them instead of the man behind the curtain. Isn't that what Einstein said? The definition of insanity is when you continue to do the same thing, same thing, and expect a different result. 
Remember what I said earlier about Jakes that are just die hard? They, <laughs> they just don't get it, all right? And unfortunately, a lot of our people pay attention to these fools, all right? They're still caught up in this Republican this, the Democrat that, and I'm not looking at the big picture. They can't see it. They can't see that they're being played. <laughs> Doesn't matter which one. All right. Like I said, if we were skillful, if we had any kind of smarts collectively, we would have been independents. And again, whoever wanted our vote had to cater to us. You know, even if that were, that's a slim chance, but it's better than this. This whole system is fucked up. Like I said, like they, uh, the uh, elders did videos some years ago about uh, America being an open-air prison for the Israelites. I believe that was uh, the title. It's a whole lot of videos, at least 30-something videos, all right? But they laid it all out, uh, and this is. This is meant <laughs> we're still in captivity, for those that haven't figured it out yet. Uh, a little bit more, I'm not going to, the points have been made, just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Oh.
just string, just stringing you along. I'm going to stop it there. You know what we think about that? True reparations for us is Revelation 13 10. I'm going to close with that. All this other bullshit, like I said, they're going to keep stringing us along, make us prisoners of hope. You know, as far as that goes with them, this is Revelation 13 and 10. All right, this is 9. It says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. If you have the understanding, this is what's going down. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. This is true reparations. Remember Revelation 18, it tells you that they're going to, well, let's get it. All right. They're going to serve double what they did to us. Here it is. All right. Verse six, reward her even as she rewarded you. It's talking about this, this America. How did she reward us? Uh, in chains, <laughs> you know, free labor to build up this wicked ass kingdom. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. Now that's the New Testament. Let's go to uh, uh, Lamentation 4, the last two. Alright, it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. That's who, that's who has put us through all this. The nation of Edom, the so-called white man, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. What's that cup? Slavery, bondage, all the things that you have done to us, even after that. Remember, a continual stroke, all right, is what we've been under. That's uh, Isaiah 14 chapter, all right? Ooh, what continual, let's get that real quick and I'll come back to this, all right? Because this is what... Ain't talking about, uh, you know, uh, the angel on the left side is talking about, it says Israel's remnant taunts. What is a taunt? What is a taunt? Let's, let's get that real quick. What is a taunt? All right. Whoops. How did I get yawned? Upbraiding language, bitter or sarcastic, reproach, insulting, invective, with scoffs and scorns and uh, contemptuous taunts. It says the reproach with severe or insulting words to revile, uh, to jeer at, to flaunt. All right. Aggravation by deriding or mocking or criticizing. Isn't that what was done to Job in uh, Job 30th chapter? Uh-huh. See how things come back around? All right. It says, harass with persistent criticism or carping. <laughs> Treat with contempt. All right. Or derision. It says, aggravation by deriding or mocking or criticizing. That's what they did to Job. Okay. They helped me what? In derision. All right. All right. So here it is. Let's see. And I'll just read the whole thing, verse 3, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Most High shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? The Most High has broken the staff of the wicked, and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he never let up. 
our people unfortunately fell for the tactic that they used to say, well, slavery happened 150 plus years ago. Okay. But what happened all those years in between then and now? Did he let up? No. All he did was change tactics. All right. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. All right. And after this devil goes down, says the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth in singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. All right. So there you go. Even the trees when this devil goes down. All right. I'm going to rejoice. <laughs> My, how wicked do you have to be in order for, <laughs> cause remember in the Apocrypha it says, uh, the most high spirit is in all things. Think about that. All the witnesses that are out here to what this devil has done. All right. Think about that. There's no hiding. All right. Let's see what else. Just a little bit more. I just had a, a chilling thought a little while ago that this could all be a ruse. You know, this thing about Trump going through all this and that's who they actually want to carry this out. Hmm. Remember, when it comes down to it, our people are so easily manipulated. It, it's, it's sad. All right. Uh, none of this has been proven any good for our people. All right. They scheme and, and all of this. That's why I read that scripture, uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. And also, you have to understand a lot of Jake's, they don't study. Uh, this is Sirach 5, the very last scripture. It says, Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter. Or a small. Damn. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. And we know that <sighs> studying in order to find anything really. Uh, like the saying goes, you want to hide something, put it in a book if you want to hide it from Jake. That's sad. That's really sad. And you wonder why the majority of our people could give, uh, continue to be played. All right. Well, that's it. Hey, you got to put forth some effort. You know, we all did in coming into this. You know, you got to take action. This is uh, uh, hold on. Three and one. This is the, the bride's dream. It says, By night on my bed I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city and the streets and in the broad ways. I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. Alright. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, Saw ye him whom my soul loveth? Alright. So you got to do these things. I mean, if you want to search for wisdom, <laughs> hey, you got to be about it. You break your neck to go seek after these Edomites' wisdom and these supposed institutes of higher learning. 
unfortunately, a lot of our people don't even do that. But even if you pursue that, look who is teaching you and, and what are they teaching you. That's why I said earlier, this woman that came after us, I guess she didn't read Acts chapter 4 and, and chapter 5. All right. Those people, those prophets were considered unlearned because they didn't go the route of the so-called learned of that time period. And there's a warning about that in 1 Corinthians 1st chapter. All right. I guess you didn't read that either. So let's go there and I'm going to end it. I promise. 1 Corinthians 1. Let's start at, uh, no, that's 2. Hold on. Let's start at around 18. It says, Yahweh shah hamashiach, the wisdom and power of the Most High. It says, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. Who are the so-called wise here? Uh-huh. And will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It pleaseth the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So we don't, at the end of the day, we don't worry about you. I'm talking about to that, that woman that came out with that BS. Alright? So, yeah. <laughs> Our people. Like I say, those that are meant to get it, I'm going to get it. And, you know, that's why that Zechariah 13 and 8, that two-third number that are not going to make it is huge. You know, somebody got to fulfill that lot. I just hope I'm not one of them. That's all I can say at the end of the day. So, as far as I'm going to go with that, just under 15 minutes. Of course, you can write, watch the rest of it. But for the purposes of this video, I've gone even further than I intended to. So, uh, hey, once again, uh, I just found out something was going on over there in the uh, uh, Western Asia now concerning them folks and uh, how they're manipulating Iran and uh, Syria. Uh, hey, that's what they do. Uh, man, just remember the term um, said it, I almost said it the wrong thing, uh, covert aggression, all right, just remember that's how these devils operate, especially them folks over there pretending to be us, all right, so with that, hey, until the next video, once again, I hope whoever views this is edified, and continue to pray, prayer is very important, pray for your brethren, your loved ones, you know, uh, until the next video, shalom.